Hello friends, how are you? Oh wait, is it? Yeah. Okay, let's start. Hello friends, how are you? I am here because I want to show you how to do a quick card and I want you also to to let go of fears of, you know, if you don't ever have done watercolor, you know, we're gonna make it very simple with a Crayola, a washable watercolors, you know, whatever you find that is easy, is fast, you know, maybe you have it for your kids, maybe you just stop by the store and, you know, get a quick, wanna practice or something. It comes with this brush. So we're gonna try some uh, exercises with this brush so you can have your brushes, um, you know, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Um, but before everything, I like to do my classes with an intention um, because everything that I, that I make, that I teach is um, from my own, like my soul, like what is your soul telling you to do? Um, so there is always an intention. Maybe you're trying to get away from some difficult moments. Uh, maybe you're just going through a lot of stress and this will help kind of um, get away from that and kind of make, you know, help your, your uh, I don't know, your creativity, your motivation, your intention for somebody or someone that you love and you want to make something special for them. It doesn't have to be any, anything expensive, but, you know, it comes from you. And I want, to, to, I want you to help, or I want to help you embrace your imperfectly, perfect self. Um, again, my name is Taide and I do this because I think like many of us, I have been through many difficult situations in my life. I, you know, I can talk about it a little bit, you know, it could be, uh, and maybe you're going through this or maybe different situations. Uh, my situations don't, don't define me, but um, this will help through any situation that you may be going through. I mean, some of my battles have been cancer three times, uh, infertility, abuse, or even um, divorce. So, um, you know, maybe you have something else. It's not about the past, but learning from our, our past, right? So um, with every, every card, every creativity or any inspiration that I have, I like to uh, use I believe in angels, so I have my oracles of angels, or we can also use these, the universe, and see what the universe is telling us. I mean, obviously we cannot tear it and all that, all those cards, but I'm gonna do one from each pile to, um, to help us with the intention today, okay? It's gonna be a quick class, but before anything, we have to be thankful for being together. And um, I love my angels to um, inspire us into having a message today. Um, so let's just shuffle all our cards. Oop, I think I see this one popping up. And then from the universe, let's see, I put them back together here. And then from the universe, we have this, this deck, which was given to me by a very dear friend of mine, um, and I love it. The universe has your back. And you know what? These are made of watercolor, so I love it. I love it. They're all perfectly imperfect, and that's what I like to do. So, anywho, let's uh, just look at how beautiful they are. So, let's just, I just like to, the way I know how which one to pick is by the ones that kind of stand out. Whoa, and this one kind of was falling, so I'll go with this one. Okay, and then um, let's see what our messages are. The angels are telling us today to take care of us. See, you take care of your body, take care of yourself, take care of your inner self too. Sometimes we've been hurt by others. Sometimes, um, we just feel like we just want to stay in, we stay home because, you know, that's where you find your peace. And if you need to do that, then do it, you know, find the moment for you, find the, you know, maybe a, a hot bath or maybe, you know, some hearts like this, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. Do it for you, do it for your friends, 
you know, whatever makes you feel better. But, you know, take care of yourself. I think that's very important. We have so many pressures from outside. And um, you see a lot of green over here. So that means your green chakra, which, which means your heart. You know, I think your heart is asking for it. Um, you know, the blue is also your, your throat, which means um, your throat is maybe you have to say something about it. You have to um, be like, okay, everybody, I'm going to just uh, take care of myself right now and I need it. So please, please um, make sure that you take care of yourself. We're going to put our cards over here on the side. And then um, the universe, let's see what the universe says. I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. So I think having intention and doing things for yourself always makes you sometimes even hypnotize, you know, like you're when you're staying, staring at a fire, a fireplace and you just can't, you know, look away because it's so intense. And I think the fire talks to you that way, you know, it's the same as a, waterfall you know just you just get the universe the intention the the motivation to stay closer in nature like taking walks at a park or you know you always feel that energy around you and that's real that's the uh, universe trying to talk to you the nature trying to talk to you um we're all living beings so you know it do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness which is yourself you know and also be open for others who are inviting you to be part of themselves too um, which means get a, get away from any toxicity in your life and embrace all the positivity around you so those are the intentions today so um hey you know what it gets closer to the intention i i just heard this message um to love others and be yourself because when you're yourself then others will love you too and that's how we are we become a big team right we don't all have to be better than each other we all have something a gift given to us and we don't have to follow you know the model on the magazine or be somebody that you know is an icon just be yourself and you'll see how your true self will show and just follow your passion. So I think that's, I think that's what we're trying to, to say with this card. That, that's what I heard. So um, I do um, recycle my, <laughs> my card, my water color card or my, my ah, paper towels. So <laughs> if you see some color there is because um, I've used them before. And okay, so we're gonna use this Crayola watercolor. And since it's Valentine, let's share love. Let's do love for us. Let's share with family, with friends. And let's just think about what love means to us. It doesn't have to be romantic. It, it has to be with um, what we feel. Let those, um, you know, it was in your card with the green, with the green, right? Um, so much green here. And that means love, your heart let it show and it talks about it in this one in this card too so i'm gonna keep this here um i may move them in a little bit but let's start with watercolors you can do as easy as this one so you can maybe have an other other um watercolor um sets that you like i mean these are these are my usual go-to's and uh, these i have this one because it comes with this we can try it together too i haven't tried it yet um, but we can try it together um a pencil if you want to you know start with something and with a pencil always um come with an eraser i like this eraser it's so it's so good it erases without having a mess under it like grayish um be careful when you erase so you don't um you don't mess up your paper these pens inks because sometimes I like to ink first because um, I learned the hard way. <laughs> I, I would paint first and then I'm, you know, I, I get um, anxiety and I wanna finish it and whatever. And then I would do the ink after and then it messed up my pens. So if you wanna do ink, either do it before or wait until after it's all dry so that you don't mess up your, 
your pens. These are Sharpies because Sharpie doesn't bleed. There's beautiful things you can do with other pens that bleed, but we'll just stick to these ones, okay, Sharpies. Um, and then these are some of my, my brushes that I use. Uh, I like to use the silver, black velvet, and this is my favorite to go to. You can see that it's, it's even, I've used a lot of it. Uh, and this has been precious to me. So it's one of my favorites and I have different sizes too. So, um, okay. So see, this is gonna, what we're gonna do and we can always do it. Part two will be to make it into a card. See, so it's more complete. You can use it as is and just write something in the back or like this and how I get this done. You can just buy blank cards and then put your art on top. And the way you do it is I use this Excel watercolor paper and I, and I uh, it's very big, it's nine by, four, by 12. And you just cut it in four. And so you can use it horizontally or you can use it, you know, vertically. So it's up to, up to you, however you wanna do it. So I explained that. So let's get this out of the way. And for the, the watercolors, you can use these little things to kind of mix your colors if you want to mix, or I've used them with acrylic, obviously. <laughs> you know, sometimes acrylic, you know, stays a little bit longer on this, but not with the watercolors. Watercolors um, dry very quickly and they don't make, make a mess, so. All right, so I wanted to try this because I want it to be easy. I don't want you to be nervous. Um, I have my my cards ready and cut. Now that paper has a side that is the back that is more smooth. I like myself to use the textured um, side of it. So how did I do this? This is super easy. You might be able to tell, um, but if not, I'll show you step by step how to do it, okay? So thank you, Lord, for having us together. Thank you, Light. Thank you, Universe, for um, bringing us together today. I hope that this helps those who watch this. Um, amen. So let's try. And you can even use an old paper. Like say you have like a, let's see, like an old paper, a scrap paper. You wanna try before you do in your bigger paintings. I have like scrap paper that I've used before. So I just turn it to the other side. You can always use this, this paper for different things. So um, just to try the, the, the brushes that you have, if you want, you can always do it. So I paint it to so the hearts. You know how to paint a heart. You can do that. You can do it, do it bubbly. Oh, see this card is not, this pen is not writing very good. So let's uh, try this other one. You know, you know, it always happens. And this is how you do it perfectly imperfect. In fact, I, I like to go over my hearts, if you can tell, <laughs> different times to make them darker, to make them, to make it imperfectly perfect, right? One side may be bigger than the other, little hearts. You can make them look like a strawberry. I always do this and then put polka dots in one. Or you can write words such as love or family. But we're just practicing our brush. So um, another way is before you wanna do your hearts, uh, something to remember is that the more water you add to your water watercolors, the lighter the color will be, the saturation of the of the color. If you use just a little bit of water, it's gonna be much darker, okay? So let's try a color that we can tell. Let's try blue, all right? So I'm gonna put a lot of water into it. So you're gonna see. I love this blue, it's a beautiful color. So see how it, you know, it opens, oh, sorry, I wasn't showing you. It opens up, so if I use, use a little bit of it, without much water. You can see the intensity, it lasts longer. And you see this, this brush is not bad at all. So we can use this brush. Um, 
for today. So if I wipe some of that water, I can do another line and see it's much more intense. Another uh, way that you can paint, that was wet on dry because obviously this is wet and that's a dry pa paper. Another way that can be done is like wetting your paper first and then putting some color on your paper and it kind of moves on its own. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> and you can kind of just move it with your brush and that's how you make a wash. Okay, so let's try. The way I did these ones were wet first and then uh, I mixed my colors. So if we wanna do a heart, you know, we're just practicing right now. So I want you to feel comfortable with your paints and with your brush. So I wet my, my hearts first. Okay. Don't uh, have puddles. Like if you see a lot of water in, um, in your paper, just grab your brush, dry it out, and take some of that water out, okay? So it won't um, leave the marks of the color everywhere, okay? You can use it as a little mop, okay? And then, um, so I think I'm ready. I'm gonna add um, a little bit of red, because it's gonna be really dark. But don't be afraid of colors, okay? So a little bit of red, just kind of, you can do it even bigger. You, can, you don't have to go with the lines or smaller. And then you grab a little bit more. You can always come back with more um, color for your, This is, I made it like a strawberry. <laughs> so I don't know. To make different types of uh, color, you can move your paper around and you'll see how um, you can, what you can do. And this one, see, the, the red is bleeding to this heart. It's okay because then you can make another color. Say uh, you want to do some yellow in this lower one. And it's going to blend with it. So you, then you can mix some colors. you'll see how they kind of blend in. You have to give it some time. If you want it this darker, you can always like wipe your brush and then grab some more and bring it when it's wet because if it dries and you wear it again, it will leak those marks, which we can always take care of those. See, it's making it darker and it's gonna move. I even like sometimes to make it drip. I love drip, it's really nice. And we can make these um, maybe orange since the three colors go together. Um, and see this pen is not bleeding. Other pens do bleed a lot. So I don't want too much water because I already added some. So let's add some orange. This is like a demo, okay, so that you kind of get acquainted with your with your way of painting. And you can see Crayola is a really good brand. You can make balloons like this too. We can, um, you know, you can, we can do great things together. Now, right now that it's wet, I also like to um, get some of the colors that I have used with more water and kind of drip or splat with it um, and then some yellow so you have some splat and then maybe some orange and maybe you find that you you know you want to make uh, you know different type of uh, kind of hearts or you can do bubbles or you know, you can just uh, don't be afraid to 
to try different ways. Now I'll grab some green. I'm using the very top. Don't press too much. If you press too much, you're going to come up with things like, well, you can do le leaves by pressing, testing the pressure. So you start really light and then you press and you let go. And then you, you start light and you press and then let go. See? Um, and so I'm using this green to make a little <laughs> abstract strawberry. And then you let it dry. Um, so let's come back to this later. Let it dry. You may have a dryer, but I recommend that you let it um, sit on its own. And that's how I made this. And I had to go over it, you know, sometimes to kind of mix different colors. I put some... <laughs> some uh, blue here to make it purple but i don't you know it's perfectly imperfect it's okay all right so i have this paper already here so let's use it which one is the texture this is the texture so you have something and you got some color on it don't worry because all you have to do is use your brush like come up and you can use it i think this is the um let's see yeah, this is the, the side that I want to use. Sometimes it's hard to tell once you... Let me see this one. I have another one here. I love this part right here that it's uh, kind of torn. I love it because you know what? It takes... Um, it take, it's, it's a has personality or something. I, I love it. So I think it's a little bit wet. But let's see what I do is... Um, this is a little bit drier. So you can always yeah, use it as a background. Just embrace it. Embrace the mistakes. Embrace, you know, everything. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. That's part of what art is. So let's move these cards that are talking to us closer. This is a little brushes. I'm going to keep close the ones that we're using, which I want to try this with you. And I may uh, use a, a smaller one, just uh, in case we need smaller brushes. And I'm gonna try to use larger ones too, just in case. Um, so these, I'm gonna put them over here. All right. Are you ready to start? Let's start the class. All right, so now that we learned a little bit from, uh, from our exercise, we put it aside to let it dry a little bit and then um so we can start our new card okay so now make the hearts however you want let's do it again let's practice again so we have maybe um you can put them side by side you don't have to overlap them like that like i did you can have some hearts like this maybe a little one here maybe a bigger one here overlapping maybe this one over here i like it kind of uh, crazy <laughs> like this like some sideways some not but I'm, I'm doing this one a little bit more more um what do you say like more straight i guess i'm gonna go over my hearts again because I don't want them perfect I want them imperfectly perfect right so just don't be afraid do the hearts or whatever is more comfortable for you to do Okay, and now this is gonna be my big strawberry. I also love to do uh, little doodles here and there. Oh gosh, I'm not showing you, am I? Sorry, here it is. Um. I don't get wet 
get him wet. Okay, there we go. My water right here. Okie dokie. So, let me go through these one more time. And I can make more little hearts here and there. Just wherever you want, you know. Go over them. See, my pen is not working anyway, so that's how I learned to go over them more than one time. Maybe it's doing this on purpose so I can show you. I don't forget. <laughs> now this one, since it's a strawberry, I'm gonna do the dots on it. Okay. And then maybe I will do, let's do some stripes on them too. How about that? over them there we go and then maybe we have another polka dot one how about that and then we can make um another stripe one maybe coming down why not so we can all they can all be different and i like some blank ones too so let's do that all right so using our Super Trooper Crayola brush. Let's embrace. Whatever it comes, we'll embrace, right? Okay. We do our red. Let's do the splashes. I like to do the splashes first. Okay. And then some yellow. Kind of orange now, huh? Because <laughs> I didn't, I didn't um, wash my my brush enough. But it's okay. You can always just clean it. Now, if you want to mix your colors, you can always use this part over here. Say I wanted to do real purple, <laughs> not like my last one. I should have used this one. You know what makes purple? Red and I made a really dark blue, which is amazing what you can do with blue. This kind of blue, believe it or not. There we go. No, I might, mm, I might have to move this a little bit because I'm getting paint. Uh, I mean, watercolor is really easy to take off, but I don't want to mess them up. So I'll put them aside. All right, so then we're going to, we were cleaning our yellow so I can put some more water. Whoa, <laughs> oh, it got dirty again. And it's still okay. Yellow, I guess, is such a light color that it's easy to get dirty, but hey, it's okay. These paints are, we will do what we can with that with our new yellow. They like got like a lime, like a lime green. So we just wait a little bit for these to get dry. And then let's paint this one since it's not so. And by the way, with the purple that I was trying to make, I can just make some, mix some more red in it. Purple is a hard color to make, so maybe that was not a very good color to try to show you. But there we, where, there we go. Where's my scrap paper? Always try it on a scrap paper and see what, if you like that. It's a dark. You can try your different shades. So it's like a plum type of color. Okay, so we will clean this a little bit. But it's gonna make a darker red, which is good. I like 
that's how you uh, you experiment, right? So, see, I just had a drop there, and it's gonna be okay. So you can even draw a bigger heart. I have too much water there, so you can just take some away. We don't want puddles, right? There's our heart. Let's let the color do its own thing. Another heart there. Spread them around. Let's do some orange. wet like I said I would and then if you have um, like say the orange right and then okay and then you want to use some yellow to mix colors you can add some intense yellow with not so much water and it will mix when it's still when the paper is still wet still the paper is still wet so I'm just adding a little bit of yellow in the bottom you can add a little by little more intense so it's gonna be orange and yellow and you can make certain areas more yellow than others this is the fun thing about watercolors it's so relaxing too I want you to relax and enjoy yourself. This is a time for you. It's a time to relax. Let everybody know that you'll take 30 minutes or so to kind of practice on your hearts and just um, enjoy. See, now you see that yellow in the red. You can make another one that is yellow. Let's say this one. Why not? And we'll make it with red too. It's gonna mix on its own. And if we make this orange, it's also going to mix with these colors that are gonna bleed into it.
we can make this one half and half <laughs> again we can make some bread don't be afraid to mix your colors you can really do anything with every anything you have it can be carbon board or it could be um you know this even this little cheap um or cheaper um, brushes but it's all about having fun now these little hearts over here i'm gonna make them really red i'm just gonna use the little bit of water on the red so they can become really really intense remember not to press too much okay if you have um some super long sometimes the brushes that are you know from um from you know plastic cheaper brands um they come with you know a little bit more crazy <laughs> you can always cut the extra if they're too long or they you have one on the side that is like being stubborn <laughs> it's even extra marks um you can always cut those off so you don't get fired bothered by them so see, I'm just using the very tip of it, of my brush. I actually like that they come in more, um, more pointy. They used to be like, um, more crazy, <laughs> opened uh, brushes, but I think they have uh, done a good job. And now, making them more pointy so that it's easier to paint more detail. So there we go. So this is more like, like I said, um, dry paper. And then I put some of these, but I want you to, I wanted to show you so that you can find your own, your own way of painting, right? So, and then some green for my little strawberry over here. strawberry <laughs> it may not look like a strawberry to you so but you know what let's have imagination right all right so we have done this so far let's let it dry a little bit let's go back to the one we practice with now you have to be want to be careful with your water see how a uh, color that how much color that you got so try to clean it often so that way um, you don't get a mess or the colors don't change, okay? Oh, thank you, Sandy. Thank you so much. Yeah, she's offering to clean the water. Thank you so much. Um, all right, so we're gonna put this aside and let's take a look at this, okay? You can see that it's still wet. Whoa, and look at the red, how it mixed with the green. <laughs> And it's okay. Um, now, don't worry if that happens, okay? I think I like watercolors because of that. They kind of bleed and they make their own thing. I like it. However, and that's why I left these the way it was, you know? If you don't like it, you can always use your mop, your brush as your mop, and you take it away like that. Now, we have still a lot of water in here. You can always... Just touch it a little bit and kind of dry it. But I kind of like how the green makes into bled into the red. I think it gives a personality. Hey, but that's just me. Now we have a puddle here too. So we want to take a little bit of that water out so it doesn't dry, too much. dry in a puddle. Okay. Otherwise, um, I can show you, like, you might do that here because I have a lot of water. That's why I'm trying to take it away. You can use that to make highlights. Take some water and it makes the heart lighter. If you wear, if you wear a balloon, you can make this side a little bit drier. 
or lighter, I want to say, and make it make a difference with the way that the water works. But you want to be careful because if you have some dry areas, then it will make that portally thing, which I don't really care. Like, like I said, I don't really, you know, these lines, for example, these lines right here. I love it, but some people might not. Okay, so. Let me work on this one. So see, this one is dry. Um, I did not write anything. I did write this uh, before I uh, color watercolored. So, I, but I made more designs on this one, as you can tell. So it's it's up to you what you want to do. But say if I wanted to give you give it more detail, I can still use my point. If you have any other type of, uh, oh, wait, we're still using this, it's okay. I want to work with you, okay? I'm going to start making some classes, live classes. Um, so if you want to, if you live in the area of um, Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, Lakeland, Tennessee, Cordova, Germantown, you can um, sign up. I put it on my Pay the Science page. Please like it if you like the classes like these videos um, and um, you know if you need any classes for any you know um, birthdays coming up or you just need an intentional class with friends co-workers just let me know and uh, we can figure something out I love to help others so yeah I would love to help you so um, I even though this is orange I want to give it some some red details. Let's try this aside. Okay. So just let your your painting dry, okay? I'm just giving you this example so that you know what to do after it dries. See, it makes a difference when you give it more detail. If you can tell, but um, see, you're giving it a little bit more detail. You can use some yellow on this side. Working on details is one of my favorite things to do. Sometimes I get overwhelmed <laughs> when I'm working with the cards and giving them details. But a lot of my students have enjoyed it too, so I guess I'm not the only one. <laughs> Yeah, I've, um, I've done this for a while now. I've started painting with acrylics and then I didn't know how to control the watercolors and that's when I wanted to learn more. And so I started little by little. I bought books, I remember, or sets. And, um, and I started just kind of learning about it and then I fell in love with it. So if you like it, let me know. I appreciate if you like it, you share people that, even kids, you know, they might, sometimes they need a, an activity to do and intention, maybe for a friend even that is going through a tough time. So yes, I had, um, during, when I was a kid, I had cancer three times and, um, you know, that's, I went through two and a half year treatment three times. And so I, I had a lot of, uh, you know, at school, they kind of give you a little bit of trouble if you look different or whatever. It's not easy, but hey, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, doesn't it? <laughs> um, I embrace everything. I'm looking back. You know what? I'm thankful because all those experiences everything ne negative brings something positive and so i keep that in mind whenever something challenging is happening in life and if we have uh, faith we believe in that light call it god call it universe call it buddha call it you know you know that they're there you're not alone and believe me prayers work you may know that too you may know that because you've lived it. 
And, you know, some people believe it when the prayers are answered and then they kind of forget to keep praying. But every day we need to be thankful and don't forget to pray to the, on the way to work, on the way to school, on the way to groceries, whenever. Whenever you remember, you know, don't forget to pray. Angels are always listening to us or past loved ones. I've, <laughs> I've been hearing a lot from my own lately. <laughs> and the more you pray, the more you let them know that they, that you hear them, that you love them, the more they respond to you. So believe me, <laughs> this has happened a lot. Um, and I know this is very hard to believe, but um, I always, when I, well, not, not hard to believe that I always, I always, always been Catholic, there are some things of Catholicism that I like. There are some that I'm not kind of iffy about, but I believe in Mother Mary a lot, a lot. And so um, she has been part of my life. She was with me when I was in treatment. She let me know that she was there. I was um, able to see her two times during treatment. Um, it was very fast, but, you know, some people do believe me. Some people don't. It's fine. I wouldn't. There is no reason why I would make something up like that. Um, but I am very thankful that she has shown me that she's with me. I also heard her another time without seeing her. So I know that she's there and angels are there. Just don't don't take it for granted. If you had if you have that um, that opportunity, that blessing to see someone or to hear them. They're not scary. Don't be scared. There's always messages of love that they want to t tell you. All right, so this is how you keep working on it, adding more color to your cards. And then, of course, you can always use a blank card, put it on your... Now, in part two, if you want, let me know if you want, we can, um, I can teach more about inking, making more of the background. And that's what I use when I, when I use this type of stuff. Um, I usually make like a whole card. It's fun to like rip it off and kind of use parts of it. But um, that's another, another way of crafting. But um, yeah, we can do backgrounds and stuff like that other than watercolors. Um, I have a lot of a lot of techniques that I use with my cards, but you know, this will make a great present for somebody who needs love, somebody who you love, somebody who needs love, um, and they don't know it maybe, or somebody just needs support. Just share with them and embrace your art, embrace your creativity, and embrace yourself. So this is it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed. Um, Embrace yourself. Don't forget about our messages here. Oh, where did I put my cards? Here. Don't forget to take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and you will take care of others. But first, it comes you so you can help others. And uh, do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. It will make you wiser. Just like that owl. I just, I just noticed that. You know, owls are very are very wise and so you can you can be too with less words but when you're conscious of something um take the best make the best effort to what to get away from toxicity and be yourself so that's it for us today i hope you enjoy it let me know like comment and we will look um look forward to see you again now uh, please know that I will be making um, live um, some sometimes live um, presence uh, in art parties at Carrington Oaks um, coffee house here in Lakeland so um, if you're interested in joining one of my classes um, I will post whenever that happens with a date and time and I hope to see you there okay um, Depending on how much time we have, I usually do it an hour. I can probably stay a little bit longer if you need some more help or if you have more questions. But, um, you know, I hope to see you there. 
and so we, we, and we can enjoy some some time together maybe drinking some coffee they have amazing coffees and cookies and whatnot so and i have a lot of my products there as well so uh, any anyhow um thank you again and have a good evening or day have a rest of a great rest of the week <laughs> send much love